Hi, I'm Brian. This is my venue, the Old Church Theater. Inside is my buddy Sean. We are about to try a couple of craft beers. You're gonna like them. We're gonna like them even more. But come on in. We're gonna have fun. Hi folks, and welcome to The Beer From Here. Here is the Old Church Theater. And my buddy here, Sean, is uh, gonna help me out here with some of these, a couple of these beers. And um, our next one today is Radical Road. It's a epic amber. And uh, we seem to like these amber. We do like the amber, I'm, you know, it's my go-to. Yeah, it's, it's my go-to. Amber's good go-to. You pour today, Brian? Ah, uh, why not? We'll start the pour. Love that sound. So this is one I haven't tried before. Nice. I like it. I like the game show guy. The game show is the guy goes, and for our audience at home, the word is television. No. Gave you a little bit more. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I think I hosed you on the last one. Cheers. Cheers. Huh. Radical ah, Road. Radical Road. Epic Amber. Uh, first comment, before I even have a sip. That doesn't look amber to me. How about it's yourself? It's not super amber. It's a bit not weedy super, looking. It, it is a lot lighter than I would expect. Yeah, yeah. Let's not judge yet. Tasty. Yeah. Tasty. Oh yeah. Very tasty. It's 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 not super malty. Not crazy caramel sweet notes or anything, but no, not drinkable. real sweet. But very drinkable. Yep. Very nice. We should let you know that uh, Sean and I have made a made a uh, point of bubbling already, and not just beer bubbling. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've been around the block a few times. See, <laughs> yes. so we're doing all right. Yeah, I like this. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it epic, but <laughs> it's, it's all right. But, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd even call it amber. Well, yeah, you know, it's got a couple... There's a target there, in case you look at it. I, I, I think it's, it's, a, just it's a curling yeah. reference, yes. Mm. Uh, drinkable, not my top five as far as an amber, but... I, what, we should no check complaints. out the... Um, the A, B, C content here. It's five right on the nose. Very drinkable, not objectionable, but it's not knocking my socks off. One of my favorite beer scenes of all time. It goes way back to when I was a kid. I don't know what reminded me of this. I think it was watching you suck back that and say it wasn't your top five. When I was a kid, and everybody had these moments my age. Saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan show in black and white. But one memory that stayed with me was Richard Burton reading, uh, reciting a Dylan Thomas poem with a great big stein of beer in front of him. I just found, found that was fabulous. He got on there and recited that poem. That's what this table feels like to me and this and we got a camera in front of us. And Look at him. You know. Start speaking in rhyme? I wish I could remember the poem. Uh, I think it was. Uh, well, I can't endorse the poem, can I? I'm not endorsing the beer. This is just for fun. Yeah. Just for us. It's, and uh, we're independent. Yes. We're independent. Yes. We, we used our hard earned money to buy this beer. It may have been a gift. Or a gift. Yeah, I'm. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go search that one out. Um, Does it remind you of another one? I always think of a beer. And, you know, how many beer flavors can there 
actually be? Well, you know? Ryan, I think a lot. <laughs> But, you know, this is... But after this trying is, a thousand... This is them. not giving me what I wanted when I yeah. read that can. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Right, from, right from the color to epic. Okay. So... We won't rate it. We'll just say, like, I'm enjoying it. It's I, a good one. I, it's not objectionable. Not I'm objectionable. going to say that, but it's not what I wanted. Not what you wanted. I, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. I, I think we shall. We shall. All right. So, this is uh, Kuchichang Craft Brewing Co. from Aurelia, and this is their Atherley Pale Ale. Wonderful. So, let's see what we got here. That's a color. It's lively. For you folks at home, you can't hear that sound. Yeah, I kind of blew that first pour. I'll, I'll let you take that one, Brian. Right? Thank you. Cheers, you too. Much more head on that. Mm-hmm. Not getting a little I'm richer not, color. Not getting a big punch of aroma. I see there's a picture of a hot plant on the thing on the on the can itself, so I'm gonna guess there's a hot bomb flavor to this. Um, I'm gonna say it's more like an English pale ale. I think you're right. It's, I've always been confused by the pale ale designation. It's 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 a it's a rich. It's got some bitterness to it. Hop balance. Yeah, but it's got some it's, nice bitterness to it. Yeah, it's got a nice yeah. bitter. It is. You're right. I think it is a fits the description of a nice British British beer, nice British uh, um, ale, and uh, I'm always a little bit confused with the whole pale ale designation. It's, you know, I mean, I know that when, when, uh, if, if, if you're a real, you're more of a hop connoisseur as you are more than me. A little bit, maybe. So what do you think? Is the West Coast Pale more, much more hoppy for you than say the IPA? I, I would say, yeah, they, they tend to kick it up a notch. Um, you know, even the new... New England IPAs tend to, you know, really have that crazy citrusy, piney, hoppy edge. Citrusy and piney, uh, piney. Yeah, I agree with that. I, you know, sometimes you just want that. It's not my go-to, but there are those days. I, 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 I know your son is a hop master. Oh, he is a hop he, master. He, he likes those. Kids today. Yes. That's a nice balance, though. That, yeah, it uh, is. That's got a very nice balance. I can you, really taste the hop, but I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm it's not. it's it's got that rich maltiness that just levels it out perfectly. I I would drink this again for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. And that reminds me, Brett. If you're watching, I want you to subscribe right now. You should. Uh, we uh, mentioned you. You know that's that's right up there with um, a McKinnon Eight Man. That this is on this is on in no way an endorsement, but yes, McKinnon Eight Man. Uh, that's that's that would be on par. I agree. Right there. I, I, I agree. I would compare it. Well, there you have it. Well, we've come to another um, another episode of the beer from here. Another two beers, only oh, five hundred more to go. There we go. So. But, the choices are endless. The choices are endless. <laughs> and if, if you found this very informative and educational, hit subscribe and like. And if you didn't, just watch again and send us something funny. Cheers. And enjoy the beer. Enjoy your beer Cheers. wherever you are. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light.